I'm the Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs. My colleagues, the Deputy Speakers, um, I will not say much, but I will add my voice to appreciate the wonderful, wonderful presentation and work by our own experts who have been able to take us through wealth of knowledge and facts which they have at their fingertips. I would like us to give them a round of applause. <laughs> Secondly, I would like to also take this opportunity to thank His Excellency the President, President Sanfakir Mayardit, for the wise decision that he took to recall and suspend the bridging projects in uh, Unity State and part of um, uh, Barakazan uh, region. This was timely and it was necessary because there was outcry from the public and also we in the parliament have been questioning such immense project commencing in the country without the approval of the parliament. It was a very big concern to us, but now we are back to the driving uh, seat again as uh, members of the legislature. We shall wait for the outcome of this public consultation and make sure that we go through the integrity of the report and where necessary approve as the parliament and the people of South Sudan would be fit and beneficial to, uh, to the country. Uh, coming back to the presentation, I've been very keen following the different speakers and presenters. But what I realize, as I said earlier, my focus and my objective to attend this uh, symposium is to find a quick and also durable solution for the floods affected communities and villages, areas around the country. But the different presentation that I received, touching about breaking, touching about Dongole Canal, touching about the night, did not really satisfy me. Did not offer me with the most appropriate means or mechanism of dealing today with the problem of today, the problem of floods affecting our citizens in those areas. We talk of diet, even the question of Raging has been ruled out. That raging does not, by, by the first presenter, uh, Professor uh, Taj, he said, raging has no direct uh, solution to the problem of the fact. But the recommendation was on the diet. I want to hear and also see strongly recommendations touching on combating floods in those areas. We must set this as our priority. I know there have been many presentations about the politics around the line. But which one is our priority now? Is that one which we combat the floods? If dredging is not directly going to combat the floods, then that one should be in other levels of priorities, but not the one we should deal with or handle today as we want to get our people away from uh, the flood situation. Uh, I would like also to state this. South Sudan is an independent country. 
become our independent and we are a sovereign nation. We have our national interest, we have our needs as a country, we have control over our land and resources and over our interests. We have the Ministry of Foreign Affairs pursuing our international and regional relations. We will pursue our national interests in the region and beyond to the satisfaction of the people of South Sudan. We as Parliament representing our people are not here to serve the interests of foreign nations. The interest of our people is our number one priority. Their social, political and economic development is our priority. Whoever is trying to promote uh, projects or push projects through the throats of our government or the people of South Sudan, we are not going to approve such projects. We will respond to any project that alleviates poverty, that will promote development of South Sudan. And some of these projects are around the line. The priority that I see, if you put dredging here, and you put them construction also here, and you put clearance here, yes, the, the scientific studies have shown that clearing the rivers, especially the, the, the bridge which has been you know, affected by, by water weeds, that's why the, the waters are not flowing, that would be my priority. And that would be the, our priority in the parliament, to ensure that the water passes through uh, uh, the tunnels to re re relieve the areas from uh, uh, flooding. My second priority would be the dams. Because with the dams in Fora, we shall achieve two or three things. One is to control our water. You see, honorable members and colleagues, if the flooding in Bentu is as a result of blockage of the bridge, what about the flooding in Jongoli, in Bo, in Twitch? What causes it? That means there are other factors that are causing the flooding in these areas. And if it is the outflow of the Nile, then we need to construct dams on the Nile so that we can control the levels of water. If they are growing in our population, then we can make sure that we adjust accordingly. Second, we cannot industrialize as a country based on thermal power. You can bring whatever number of generators but still you will never achieve the kind of industrialization that you see in East Africa and you see in other countries. Generators will serve just our short-term interests. This is what I also want to, uh, to add on, on, on the presentation that has been uh, you know, uh, given to, to us throughout the day. Otherwise, with these uh, few remarks, I would like to thank uh, the honorable members who persevered uh, to remain seated up to now. I know many of us stay very far away in the residential areas and also transport challenges would have to inform the decision of others to leave early. But I'm very grateful for those who remain behind and we are very attentive. And I also advise our experts and also the, the executive. There are other matters that we can discuss behind doors. Others we can discuss in the open. I don't know whether these are media, we have been saying a lot um, uh, in the House, even us in the Parliament. There are other matters that we, we, we will commit to close sitting, while others will be open. So let us distinguish which ones will be uh, brought out and which ones should not be brought out. Thank you very much.